FTSE 100 movers. Okay, well, again, it's been quite an active day in the FTSE um, in terms of movers and shakers, but I picked out uh, just three names here that, that caught my eye. So Weir Group, first of all, manufacturer of pumps and, uh, and fluid uh, uh, moving equipment. Uh, they had their interim management statement today. If you read it in isolation, I think you, you probably would have thought it was, it was quite bad news, but it was obviously better than the market anticipated. So they've uh, moved up by 4.1% to top the uh, FTSE gainers this morning. Um, and then the next one on our list is in fact next, um, one of Britain's biggest clothing retailers, uh, never seems to put uh, a foot wrong this stock. And uh, they had a trading statement today uh, showed that sales were ahead of forecast once again, and they're up just over 3% as a result. Just on that, OK, we've traded the markets for many, many years, but historically everyone tried to call the top in next and they failed miserably. And as you say, they've got the model absolutely right, haven't they? They do seem to. Uh, yeah, they, they, there's very little uh, pleasure in shorting next. All that, all that brings you is a, is a world of pain and, and an inevitable loss, it seems. <laughs> yep. um, and then thirdly, the uh, last one on the slide here, Anta for Gaster, um, Ch Chilean copper miner uh, listed in London. Um, they had their Q1 production report today down 3.3%. Um, quite disappointing read through in that one. Um, only a month ago, they were linked to in a possible tie-up with a Canadian firm called Tech Resources. That seems a long time ago, um, but perhaps this, this shows why they need to uh, they need to perhaps amalgamate because it's all about economies of scale in, in a very difficult commodity market at the moment. Understood.